Today I fucked up by asking my parents for weed paraphernalia. So, this happened almost 7 years ago. Let me set the stage. It is the year 2013. In December, I will be turning 18. My parents ask me what I want for my birthday. I'm going to be an adult, I tell myself. I should ask for practical gifts. As a typical teenager, I love two things, birds and gardening. I ask my parents for a kitchen scale and an herb grinder. The scale I need to weigh my parrot, the herb grinder to grind the herbs in my garden. On my birthday, I get a cool digital scale and small black cylinder that calls itself a handheld herb grinder. It is shit at grinding my rosemary, but I don't want to seem ungrateful, so I don't ask for a receipt. I try many times, with a variety of herbs, but nothing turns out quite right. A few years later, I have a friend over. She sees the grinder in my cupboard and asks about it. Oh, I respond, that's an herb grinder my parents got me years ago. It doesn't really work though. In the ensuing conversation I learn, dude, that's for weed. Looking back, the chance that my parents, or at least my dad, didn't know what they bought me seems slim. Makes me wonder what they thought I was getting up to with a scale and an herb grinder. Maybe this year I'll ask for rolling papers, see if it phases them. Too long didn't read, asked my parents for kitchen supplies for my birthday. I wound up with a cannabis grinder. I rescue and rehab exotics and wildlife. I use a scale daily. Learned my ex's son was selling weed when I had to retrieve my scale more than once from his room. I mean, yeah. It was an awesome scale. But no high school student needs it daily for homework dude. Be smarter. Stoichiometry my ass. No American kid is naturally good at that part of chemistry unless they've sold or regularly bought weed before. All the stoners in my class passed that unit with flying colors. Till a lot more families are into weed as a family than I thought. Welcome to the autism club. We have been waiting for you. Ha. Thanks. I'm laughing because it took you a couple minutes to figure out that I was on the spectrum and over 20 years for anyone else, myself included. LOL. My mom comes and gets my big scale on a regular basis when she's baking. I still have the same scale and I use it to weigh my bird and my baking ingredients. It's a good investment, whatever you use it for. My mom uses my old coffee grinder for her weed brownies. Stocking stuffers at Christmas include fancy pre-rolled joints, a variety pack of 3.5 gram containers of different strains. Edit, backstory. A number of years ago my grandmother got shingles and her doctor recommended cannabis but she didn't want to smoke it, so my mom got some medical grade high CBD stuff and baked her some cookies. We now call her gateway granny because there's been prolific amounts of edibles available ever since. Also it has since become legal for recreational use in Canada, my wife who had never smoked it, ate like three cookies at a family function and it was hilarious. Today I fucked up by being horny during isolation. This actually happened today. So I'm, 21M, isolating at my girlfriend's, 21F, home due to COVID exposure back at our apartment complex at university. Her parents came home yesterday from a small trip and so we and her little brother, 18M, have been sneaking off to smoke during the day and at night since her parents aren't cool with it. Last night we instead snuck off to have some alone time so we left her little brother at the house and found a quiet parking lot to do the deed. Tinted windows are great for this sort of thing. After it was all said and done, I picked up a random kinda dirty face mask that I don't use in my back seat and used it to wipe off bodily fluids from the both of us and folded it up and left it on the back seat to remind myself to throw it away. Well it was early this morning and me, my girlfriend, and her little brother sneak off to smoke a joint to get the day started. We drove to and smoked at another quiet location and got back in the car when her brother chimes in and said, let's go order breakfast at a drive through Fine. I get in line at a Cajun chicken place and we all order. It's time to get to the pay window and being the decent people we are, 
Me and my girlfriend up front put masks on that we brought. Her little brother in the back seat follows our example and picks up a random dirty mask sitting next to him. Before I even have time to react he is already slapping that bad boy on regardless of how dirty it looked. His face went from joy to confusion as he takes the mask back off and I shit you not, I can see the cum on the tip of his nose. I yank it out of his hand and put it up front near my girlfriend and she looks at it shocked knowing exactly what just happened. He said WTF was on that mask there's like some liquid on my nose. My girlfriend quickly screams out snot and then quickly covers her tracks by saying that she sneezed in it last night and forgot to throw away. He said ew dude that's fucking disgusting and proceeded to wipe off his nose onto his sleeve where the toothpaste like stain still sits even as I'm typing this. He didn't know it was nut then and he very likely never will. Too long didn't read. I used a mask to wipe sex fluids off my girlfriend and I, and her little brother unknowingly got my splooge on his face because we forgot to throw it away. The stain is still on his shirt from where he wiped it off as I type this. Update, I feel like I should clarify that it wasn't a glob of nut on the end of his nose, it was the liquidy like nut that happens after it's been sitting for a few hours. What I think happened is the morning dew reinvigorated the nut enough to make it wipeable and that is what he got on his face. God I wish it was dry enough not to smear. Sure hope he doesn't have read it. Damn dude your jizz has been on half your girlfriend's family. Job half done then. Nothing to see here. Sounds like everyone played it off perfectly and if I were you I'd never tell him, for at least 5 years. I can at least be thankful that she was thinking on her feet because god knows it could have gone worse. No way he didn't recognize the smell. He needed that snot excuse just as much as you guys. 100% in denial and suppressing this until he's on his deathbed. Today I fucked up by posting a picture of my cat in a Facebook group. I own a black and white cat. She's been living with me for 3 years now. Anyone who has seen a black and white cat knows they all look the same, and that it can be hard to distinguish between them. Some time ago, I created a local Facebook group about cats for me and my friends. It became more popular and more people joined. Today. There are about 150 plus members. Also important, I have tins of pet stuff I don't actually need. So I decided to give some away and I did it over Facebook Marketplace and also advertised in the group. Yesterday, I posted a picture of my cat when she still was a kitten. 30 minutes later, I got a message telling me that I had one hour to return their that to cat to them or and maybe they would call the cop. I was extremely confused. It was from a man who I gave some of my stuff, but we never really interacted and I didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. Besides, I was pretty sure a cat I owned for three years was legally mine. Turns out, four or five days ago their kitten ran away from home and they have been searching everywhere for it. Their kitten also looks like my cat, and no they are sure that I stole their kitten. Despite telling him that my cat was an adult cat and that the picture was older, he was convinced it was their kitten. He used some pretty colorful language and insulted me pretty hard. I simply blocked him. Some time later, there were cops in front of my house. He apparently called them, he had my address from the pet stuff, and reported that I had stolen their cat. I could see the man and his family waiting on the sidewalk. I told the cops that I only owned an adult cat, and that I posted an old picture. I have the adoption papers for my cat, and they clearly date back three years. So there's no doubt who my cat belonged to. The family still didn't believe me. They began screaming at the cops to search my house, because obviously I just hid the kitten somewhere. After the cops refused, the man started screaming at me. He left in a the police car. The woman and kid said nothing to me and simply drove away. I'm probably never gonna post a picture of my cat again. TL, doctor, I posted a picture of my cat in a Facebook group, a man accused me of stealing his kitten and called the cops on me. In the end he was the one who left in a cop car. Edit, for everyone who wants to see the pictures I posted on Facebook, because some people have mentioned it, yes I am aware that my cat has a micro penis in her face. Although it never really caused problems with Facebook or any other social media. If they're this insane I bet their cat was smart and ran away. 
The real moral of this story and a reminder to everyone here is to not post or give out your address willingly, especially to people you don't know online. Your heart was in the right place in wanting to give these things away, but that was a humongous risk which ended with an altercation on your doorstep. But please keep posting pictures of your cat. Don't let insane and irrational people deter you from that. And if you sell something online, meet up in a common location to do the exchange, like the police station parking lot, not your home. Reminds me of a funny story with my dad, me and my grand's family were away on a cruise, with my parents and sister looking after their cat. Am thing for out the house and was missing the entire time so we put posters up, about a week into the search my dad funds him and takes him home, but he's pretty skittish, probably just from being scared in a new area. Next day someone knocks on the door, some old lady we've never met, tells us we might have her cat, dad brings the cat to her and sure enough, it starts going round her legs and goes off home with her. We lost a cat, and kidnapped another in the same damn week. To make it worse, after two weeks we get home and own up to losing the cat. As we talk guess who wanders on up, into the house and starts eating away. A grand stam cat, the real one. I mistook another cat for mine on the way back from the pub in a state of inebriation. Thought he'd followed me so do today I fucked up only picked him up and brought him home. Woke up to find two remarkably similar but certainly unique cats chilling out in the kitchen. New to Tom's know how to roll with the punches. Took him to the vets, got him scanned, cheapishly returned him the next day. Jonas said this was the third time this had happened, cat wandering and being returned after a scan, not necessarily catnapped by a piss head. At least you were nice about it and returned him. But I can imagine how mortified you must have been. He's going to feel really stupid when he comes back and kills you, searches your place, but still can't find his kitten.